My name is Alex Moore, and I'm an application engineer at Materialize. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the CT Bone Wizard tool within Nimix. For this example, we will be looking at a simple segmentation of the knee. The final output will be individual parts for the femur, tibia, fibula, and patella. This is a basic example, but the CT Bone Wizard will also work on more complex cases. Once the images are imported into Nimix, we will open the CT Bone Wizard tool from the Advanced Segment menu. The first step of this tool is bone selection. Seed points will be placed within the bone to define the outline or cortex. Multiple bones can be added on this page, and seed points can be added and removed for each one. I will go through and define seed points for the femur, tibia, fibula, and patella now. As I progress through setting my seed points, you'll notice that the previous bone's seed points turn black. This indicates that these seed points are no longer available and belong to the previous bone. Seed threshold and sensitivity can be used to assist the tool when separation is more challenging. The seed threshold will define the threshold for the seed points. The higher this value, the stronger the separation between the bones, since the seed values will typically be in the cortical bone range. Sensitivity defines the separation between the seed points. The sensitivity can help the separation of bones. The lower the value, the less the seed points will be detected, and the less chance there will be for leakage towards neighboring bones. Now that I have defined my seed points, seed threshold, and sensitivity, I will click Next. The second step of the CT Bone Wizard is to define an appropriate threshold range. This can be defined once for all bone masks or individually per mask. A preview will be shown during this step. I will use a minimum of 226 Hounsfield units and a maximum of 1,686 Hounsfield units and apply the range to all bone masks. I will now click Next to move on. The third and final step of the CT Bone Wizard tool is finishing. This step is used to perform post-processing on the newly created masks, including filling and fine-tuning of the contours. Using the gap closing distance will define a zone around the mask where an additional analysis of the pixels will be performed. If the tool believes there is a high probability of a pixel being part of the bone, it will be added to the mask. Fill long bones will fill the shaft of long bones. This should only be checked when dealing with long bones like the femur, tibia, ulna, etc. Similar to the second step, the finishing can be applied uniformly to all masks or individually. Once I set my parameters, I will click calculate. Now that I'm happy with the results, I will click Finish to exit the CT Bone Wizard tool. Next, we will convert the masks to objects. From the Segment menu, I will click Calculate Part and select the bones I would like to use. Once calculated, I can turn on the contours and check the anatomical accuracy of these bones. That concludes this tutorial of the CT Bone Wizard tool within Nimix.